Hey guys, glad to have you with me. Uh, we're going to be taking a look in the Bible today about a passage that shows um, how God has made the fact of his existence obvious to everyone on earth. And uh, so let's, let's take a look and let's see. All right. Romans chapter 1 verse 18 says this. But God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. They know the truth about God because he made it obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and the sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for knowing God. So guys, this, this is an important thing to bear in mind. It really is pretty obvious that there's God. I mean, and we see, we can see it as Christians when we look at beautiful things like the ocean or the mountains or the Grand Canyon or this, even the Sahara Desert. You know, that has its own kind of beauty. Um, all these things, we can see God's hand in it. We can see God in anything we take a look at. And simple fact is that Humanity has been denying God's existence pr almost from day one. Um, it didn't take very long uh, for people to, to start coming up with reasons to explain things away. Uh, how, how miracles happen. How this finely tuned universe came into being. Um, how certain parts which need another part to work could have evolved at the same time simultaneously because one doesn't work without the other um, it, it you stop and you really think about it it's it's not hard to land on the fact that there's a god that he, he designed everything and it really talks about it right here in verse 18 it says god shows his anger from heaven against people, uh, against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Guys, really, there, there's nothing worse than seeing everything, well, even without seeing everything, than simply denying that there's a God. There's nothing that goes against the human call on us. The, the, God created us to be the pinnacle of of his glory visible in creation. And so we were created to show God's glory to everything around us, to scream it out loud with our voices and by our very existence. And so when we turn our existence around and we start saying there is no God, when we start denying the truth, it's a fundamental sin against what we were created to be. That's a problem. But guys, this also gives us good news because we can also take this to realize that every single person has had to come to grips with this. Every single person has wrestled with this question, is there a God? And we can take a look at the beauty of creation. We can, we can point at the beauty of the stars in the sky and, and the ocean as the waves crash on shore or the mountains. Uh, all these things um, point toward a God, but it, it, gets, it gets better. Um, science has given us tools with which to understand God's creation. He's taken us to a deeper level of understanding than humanity's ever had before um, for understanding the world around us. But the simple fact is it doesn't get us out of the fact that there's a God. It's really easy, and I'm going to butcher this quote, and I can't even remember where it came from, so it may not be much help. But basically, uh, some, some science um, expert, I want to say a physicist, but again, I can't remember. So uh, at any rate, he said, basically, when you take a look at the physical sciences, when you start drinking from the cup of physical sciences, um, it lends itself towards atheism. You start seeing things explained, and suddenly the things that were mysterious become mundane. But he said, at the bottom of the glass is God. And 
and I think that's true, the more that we understand about the universe, the more we see the complexity, the more we see the magnificence of everything, how our planet is right where it is and, and to be able to support life. Uh, if it were any cl much closer to the sun or much further away, we wouldn't be able to support life. Um, you know, the, the 23 degree uh, tilt of the, uh, of the planet in its orbit around the sun gives us the ability to have seasons, which we need in order to renew life as it is on Earth. All these things and more. Guys, creation strings it out. There is a God. So don't be afraid to talk to others about it because they've wrestled with the question. Well, let's have the courage to lead people into those discussions and let's, let's tell them that there is indeed a God and there's a God who loves us and who came to save us from ourselves. So guys, that's what I had for you today. I hope it helps and hope it, fo hope it focuses your day on him. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.